good morning for those in the US um, or the, um, and, and for folks in India, good evening, um, so as the case might be. Welcome to this edition of the Applied Analytics webinar series. My name is Rajesh Tiagi, and along with Gautam Datta, we are the organizers of this particular webinar. Now, these webinars are an initiative of the informed practice session section, and this webinar is being co-hosted with the Operations Resource Society of India. Uh, before we start with the webinar, I just want to spend a minute uh, talking about the informed practice section. Uh, Gautam, if you can go to the next page, please. Yeah. So, um, so the purpose of the informed section on practice is to support and help advance the practice of uh, analytics. Uh, to that end, we have a number of activities that we conduct during the year. So to start off, we have the three annual competitions. We have the France Settlement Award, the Daniel H. Wagner Prize, and the UPS George D. Smith competition. Um, in fact, the France Edelman Award, the 2024 version was has just been announced. Um, and um, uh, uh, so the so submissions are, uh, we are accepting the submissions for that particular award uh, starting this week. We also have a couple of monthly events. We have the Applied Analytics webinars. And uh, this is where we have talked on real world app problems that the speakers have encountered and solved. Um, there are also some talks on how the analytics organizations are set up in various um, uh, industries. We also have a monthly virtual network networking happy hour. The discussion topic varies uh, and it gets uh, posted on the website every month. We also have a couple of uh, conference events. Uh, including uh, uh, tracks during the annual meeting. I do want to remind that uh, when it comes to applied web webinars, our next one is on July 27. The title is Exploring, Understanding, and Deploying Emerging Technologies in Retail, a Portfolio Management Approach. Uh, details on this particular webinar will be posted uh, later today or tomorrow on the upcoming webinar uh, page. Um, at this point, I'll stop and hand it over to Gautam to talk a little bit about the Operations Research Society of India and also uh, some of the uh, presentations that he's lining up uh, from India. Gautam. Thank you, Rajesh. Uh, just to, uh, for the people who are attending this, uh, we have Bay West for me in forms, Rajesh, who is uh, the uh, informs representative for this initiative. Uh, myself, Gautam Datta, retired faculty from IIM Ahmedabad. I am currently a visiting faculty at NITI, and I have Ramesh, who actually did the work, who is going to speak about this. So, practices in, in India is not as strong as in the US. US have been going on for 50 years. The Dedelman Award is running for 50 years. Interfaces have been possibly completed 50 years of existence. So we have made some little initiative when I was the president of ORSI. Uh, then we had uh, two years, we ran a practice prize competition in line with, but uh, in a SNL level in line with how uh, yeah, Infos actually does the Edelman competition. We, in our core team, we have uh, Sundaravalli Narayana Swami. She is the... Uh, President of ORSI Ahmedabad chapter. And this is an initiative which has been taken by the Ahmedabad chapter of ORSI. Uh, Sanjay Kumar Prasad is not present today. Uh, he is the chief data scientist of uh, IBM India. Siddharth Sengupta used to work on TCS and modeling. And now he is a, uh, I think, visiting faculty in IIT Bombay. And Sumitha Nates is a faculty in uh, Near my university with a with a OR degree and other. So this is our core team. And uh, what we plan to do is to have one seminar every one month or every two months. So this is the first attempt to get this. I think we possibly cannot run a prize competition at this point of time because uh, we have seen certain problems when we run the competition. So before that, I think to get interested, to so get I think uh, the industry and India uh, Indian. Uh, industry interested on applied mathematical modeling. I think that's important because in my opinion, having taught there and having worked in uh, Tata Steel for about 
11 years uh, work and having taught uh, OR and other for about 25 years, I think that practical applications are not many in India. I think good applications might be happening, but it is not coming out. So this is an, uh, I think, experiment to bring that out. It is possible that some industry like TCS and others are doing good work, but possibly they are not publishing that. It's not coming open about this. So if you have a seminar like this, there is a possibility that they might open out. Uh, and uh, it will be beneficial both for the people who attend that and both people who share that, uh, because uh, experience, uh, I think, uh, understanding others' experience helps. So this week they're there, we, would, uh, we are going to have uh, hand it over to Ramesh. Uh, Ramesh is a faculty at uh, NITI, which is a National Institute of Industrial Engineering. It is now uh, going to, uh, it, it is, I think, uh, poised to become a uh, management school. I think the, the bill is there in the Parliament of India and it might become a management school. And it, in terms of ranking, it's ranked number seven in India is a young faculty and before that NITI uh, is going to their NITI, he is an engineer, uh, a mechanical engineer and uh, he has done his <coughs> MTech and uh, PhD. His PhD is from uh, again uh, NITI same university where he is now working as assistant professor. He has worked with this problem with Devjit Rai and uh, Sachin Joysal of IIM Ahmedabad, Sumita Natis. So I would hand over to uh, uh, Ramesh to start his presentation, we will give him about half an hour to talk about that. And as uh, Rajesh was telling that we don't allow uh, question answer at the time when the uh, talk goes on. So the questions should be kept at the end, but you can actually chat or you can use the Q&A and uh, we will uh, uh, give the questions over to the uh, speaker. Uh, so uh, over to Ramit. Just, just yeah. to clarify, the chat will not be open. I don't think so. But please, if you have the any chat will questions, not be open. Q and the A talk... will be open. Okay, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. So Q and A, you can put it in the Q and A. Okay. okay. So over to Ramesh. Ramesh, it's all yours. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. I'm going out of stock here. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. So hope my PowerPoint is uh, visible to all of you. Yes, it is. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, hello everyone, and I would like to welcome all of you for joining the first ORC Informs uh, seminar series on OR practices. And I am Ramesh Kumar, Assistant Professor in Area of Operation and Supply Chain Management at National Institute of Industrial Engineering, Mumbai, India. And today I am going to talk about the one of the project work done for the Savarmati Gas Limited, and the title of this project is efficient distribution of compressed natural gas, a case of the Savarmati gas lift. So this work is the joint effort of the Professor Tevjit Roy from IIM Ahmedabad, and Professor Sachin Jaiswal from IIM Ahmedabad, and Professor Sumita from Nirma University, and Professor Gautam Datta is a professor at NITI Mumbai, and he's a retired professor at IIM Ahmedabad. So this is a team, they have done the work on that, uh, problem uh, we are going to discuss on that one. So moving further on this pro problem. So uh, the agenda of the today uh, presentation is uh, more about we are talking about the introduction uh, about these problems and we are again we are talking about the our client of the Savarmati Gas Limited and then we have discussed about this what are the network or CNG network of the Savarmati Gas Limited? What would be the project objective? Uh, how we develop the simulation model and what kind of uh, challenges we are facing to develop this model? And then we have discussed more about the dashboard which is prepared for the client and they are using it. And then we are moving towards the practical implementation. And finally, we are moved for the conclusion. So these are the outlines of our presentation. So now moving further uh, about the introduction. So so rapid in industrial development and the urbanization in Gujarat has led to increase the demand of the compressed natural gas and transporting vehicles. And the increased demand of the CNG need to develop a CNG gas distribution network. And Savarmati Gas Limited has established a large CNG distribution network in Gujarat. And now the Gujarat is the one of the largest gas distribution network in the India. So, uh, the main objective of this project 
to reduce the dry out time at the daughter booster station. So taking care of that objective, we have developed a simulation model for efficient distribution of CNG from mother station to daughter booster station in order to reduce the dry out time. And dry out time means there is no supply of the gases at the particular station. And another, and parallelly, we are increasing the service level of the system. So to measure this dry out time, uh, we have defined the dry out time in terms of the cumulative time of the unsatisfied demand of the vehicles and divided by the available service time. So let's say, for example, let's uh, uh, for the available service time is 16 hours in a day. And let's say the one particular uh, daughter booster station is not able to fulfill the demand of the 1.6 hour. So the if you calculate it, then it becomes like 1.6 divided by 16 hours and divided by uh, multiplied with 100. So it becomes the 10% of the dryout at that particular day. So this way we have calculated a dryout time. So now we are moving further about, so let me, uh, before uh, diving into the problems details, let me introduce about the clients, those who are Savarmati Gas Limited. So Savarmati Gas Limited is established in 2006 in Gandhinagar and uh, with the development of a large uh, CNG distribution network to fulfill the demand of the six district of the North Gujarat and that districts like Gandhinagar, Mehsana, uh, Savarkantha, Aravalli, and the uh, Pathan. So these are the five districts where the Sa Savarmati Gas Limited has uh, uh, make a distribution network of CNG gas. And if you broadly look the CNG businesses, so they are annually turnover of about the five millions in 2020, as per the their annual reports. And they serve three broadly sectors. One is the industrial and commercial sector, another one is the automobile sector, and third one is the domestic sector. And if you talk about the percentage share of the businesses, then it's like a 70 to 75% businesses in industrial and commercial sector, which will be fulfilled through the retailing of the natural gas and 20 to 25% of business in automobile sector through the CNG outlets. And the third sector is the um, four to five percent businesses, which is domestic sector through the PNG supply of the domestic. Gas. So this is about the our client. So now move on, moving further about the how the supply chain uh, mechanism uh, basically uh, work for the CNG. So uh, we have so so basically the if you talk about the mechanism, the CNG is directly coming from the underground pipe steel pipelines and we are classed the broadly classify the uh, cng station in the four category so we are move further one by one so first one is the mother station so if you look uh, here so if you move uh, look here the this is the underground pi steel pipeline cng carriers where the gases are coming here and then here so this is first we are talking about the mother station. So if you look here, there are three kind of pressures are involved in the whole operations. So first pressure is the 19 to 20 watt, which is coming from the uh, uh, steel pipeline CNG carriers, and it's go to the CNG compressor. And CNG compressor compresses the gas, and that it's sent to the P2 pressure bar. It's about the 250 bar, and it's sent to the dispenser, and dispenser sent to the uh, CNG vehicle. So if you look here, there are three kind of you know. Uh, uh, they are fulfilling the demands. One is the LCV, SCV, another one is the dispenser, and third will be the uh, stationary capsule. So we will discuss more about what kind of priority we are given, who one going to first be served. So we will look into the coming slides. So moving further to the next station. So next station is the daughter booster station. So daughter booster station are the offline kind of station, which is fulfill the demand by the dependent on the demand of the mother station. So mother station has uh, build the LCV and SCV. So LCV and SCV is a kind of the mobile casket, which is uh, mounted over uh, vehicles, and this will be carried from one location to another location. So where uh, LCV has filled at mother station, and they will send back to the various location of the daughter booster station. And they will, again, daughter booster station have a compressor, so it will compress the gas and it will maintain, again, up to the 250 bar at the P2, and then it sent to the dispenser where the demand is required, like auto and car are coming in the, the at the dispenser, they will going to serve. 
and parallel they have a one stationary cascade. So this stationary cascade is a similar kind of cascade which is mounted over the LCD HDB, but this is a stationary which is the storage and buffer kind of uh, gas is there. So this is the second kind of uh, stations. Uh, if you talk about the third kind of station, this is a daughter station. This is similar to the daughter booster station, but there is no compressor. And nowadays these are uh, audited kind of thing. And the fourth one is the online station, uh, which is uh, similar to the, if you look about the mother station, but uh, there is uh, no service and they are not served to the LCV, SCV. They are directly served to the PNG vehicles. And this kind of station is mostly about the uh, serving for the high, uh, you can say, uh, heavy vehicles like buses or such kind of government has tie up. So they, are, they have some, uh, served such kind of services. So this is a broadly classification of the four kind of CNG station. Now we are moving further about the basic layout and how it will be function. So here, if you look about uh, in the left hand side of the pictures, if the online station, uh, online gas are coming from the underground steel pipeline at the pressure of this, and this is the compressors, which it compresses the gases and go to the product. So there are three priority as given. So first priority is given to the uh, serving to the auto and car. To first one is going to the dispenser and second priority is given to the stationary casket. So there is no demand at the dispenser, then it served to the stationary casket for the, the buffer. And if there is no, uh, if the no demand is at the auto and car of the dispenser and, and the uh, stationary casket has fulfilled, then the third priority is going to the LCV SCV. So LCV SCV is sent, uh, the, uh, they fulfill. And once, meanwhile, the pressure is come, I mean, the demand has come, then it's again, the priority has changed and they will send to the, again, auto and car demand. So first priority is always for the auto and car, second one is the distance casket, and third one is the LCVSC. If you talk about the operating conditions, so every mother station, it depends upon the uh, um, station to station, mother station. So it's running at morning six o'clock and at 10 p.m. So this is the running time and fulfilling time we are talking about. So 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, this is the operational uh, filling time of the mother station. So our problem is more related to the, uh, uh, we are more focusing on the talk of the mother station as well as daughter booster station. So daughter booster station, so this the, so this LCV, SCV has sent to the daughter booster station and daughter booster station as a supply to the, uh, the, the, the demand required at the daughter booster station. So again, similar kind of CNG station is here uh, where we have fulfilled the demand of the auto and car. And this is again, we need to maintain the pressure of the um, more than or equal to the nine, 190 bar. So again, here two priority. Uh, first priority is always to fulfill the demand of the auto and car coming into the queue. And the second demand we are sent to the stationary casket. So this way, again, uh, this uh, LCV, SCV is empty and again, it back to the, again, to the mother station and they will fill. So that kind of cycle and integration happen between the mother and daughter booster station. So our scope of the work is more uh, closely with the mother station and daughter booster station. We are not focusing on the mother's uh, online station as well as the daughter station. So now we are moving about the Savarmati distribution network. So this is the uh, distribution network where uh, uh, mother station one has a Chilora and it is associated with the two daughter booster station, DB1 and DB2. And distance between both has uh, 15 kilometers and 30 kilometers uh, from the mother station Chilora. Similarly, the another network have a cluster of the network where M2 is the Someswar uh, uh, kind of the mother station. So this round uh, circle has uh, represent the mother station. And similarly, this is the hexagonal represent the DB. So these are the different configuration, you can say, of the cluster of the mother and daughter booster station. And these are the distances between. So these are coming and then and up going. And so these are the, the, the distance with uh, arrow represent the uh, upcoming and the dotted line is going back to the reverse direction. So now we are moving further about the project objective. So our project objective to reduce the drive time at the daughter booster station and to reduce the number of the auto and car living without the services and to enhance the customer service level. And if you are talk about the mathematical line, uh, mathematically, the drive time is the cumulative time of the unsatisfied demand of the CNG vehicle and the available service time. Uh, 
divided multiplied with the hundred. So this is the basic definition of the uh, measurement where we have measured this quantify this uh, dry out time. So uh, now we are moving further towards the how we solve the problem. So first we understand the business requirement and whatever the client they wanted, and then we identify the problem where we will uh, you know they will uh, they have a bottleneck kind of thing. And then we have a field survey where we have collected the data. We discuss about the data, what kind of operating condition at the different different mother station. Then we have analyzed the CNG station network, how it will be work, and uh, what kind of how much distance, how many geographical locations, what kind of issues they are facing. Then we are moving further for the data collection kind of things where we are primarily we will look like the arrival of the auto and car, how much time they are waiting, uh, what quantity of auto uh, has required the fuel and what kind of uh, CNG and what what amount of the required for the car. So this kind of uh, data we have collected at the each TV station and the mother station as well. Now we are fitting all this data and the distribution uh, as a, uh, and analyze all data and we applied the probability distribution and we fit the input through the input analyzer and we will uh, fit the this data into the distribution and then we have moved further as an input of the simulation of the all distribution and we will fit into the simulation model as an input and then we integrate the first we make the model of the mother station and then we will integrate both mother and daughter and then we will implementation kind of things are uh, started and then finally model has model has verified so these are the basic way uh, where we have started the problem uh, Right. Okay. So now we are moving further. What kind of challenges we are facing uh, during you know the uh, uh, during develop this simulation model? So first we have discussed more about we will uh, which kind of approach we are applied. Either we are approach the simulation or we are the optimization. So that kind of uh, things we have discussed, and this is the uh, initial challenges we are facing. So some of these are the some major challenges we are listed out here and. We have during and we will uh, get this kind of challenges during develop this model. So we are looking the complexity of the problem and the client requirement development. Particularly, they are more looking about the what if kind of analysis. So that's why we are chosen the approach of the simulation and yeah, and even the operating condition at the each stage of the operating. Uh, you can say the each mother station and BB station are different. So this kind of complexity and the uncertainty and the, so we will look uh, more about the uh, simulation approach and similarly if you we are again the process which kind of process so if you are look here the arrival of the auto and car at the discrete process whereas the supply of the gas is the continuous process so which process we will fit into the which uh, uh, in as an input so that kind of things we have uh, uh, discussed with our team and we will look which process we will uh, identify and where we will fit it. So that kind of challenge is again the another challenge arrival of the auto and car at the discrete arrival process, number of the cars, numbers of arrivals are changes uh, uh, hourly basis. So we have again how we fit the data either per day or per weekly or, or the uh, monthly basis, how we will fit the data into the model. So that kind of challenges we are facing and well, and the supply of the gas of the compressor is there, one of the continuous process. And uh, again, if you look at the other side of the release demand side, so the release of the gas is the, again the of the casket is also the continuous process. So, and the last one is the amount of the gas taken by car is the, again random. So some car is coming as the taking the three kg. And so again, there are two, again, two, two kinds of vehicles we have considered. One is the auto, another one is the car. So auto is India is like a three vehicle kind of thing uh, where uh, people are usually using. And the uh, cars is of course. So the, again, the within the cars and auto, how much quantity uh, they have taken. So this is again, uncertain kind of uh, things to, this is again, another challenge to how we will fit into the data into the input as a simulation model. So that kind of challenges we are facing during this modeling. Now we are moving further for the statistical analysis of the data and curve fitting. So first we chosen the model as approach as a simulation, and then we have uh, particularly again simulation. We are using the discrete event simulation where uh, we are not going to other kind of simulation like system dynamics or agent-based kind of thing. 
Now the discrete simulation uh, for uh, we have taken the interval of the five seconds. So every five second of interval, our all parameters has updated. So we have taken so that we will get the update of the all parameters like pressure, it, it, how much pressure at the filling of the either in the cascade or in the either into the dispenser. So that kind of uh, every data has updated at every five second of interval. Now the arrival of the car and I2, we are fit the all uh, data into the input analyzer and they will uh, fit it into the Python process. This is the best fit. And uh, similarly for the amount of gas, we have to in the triangular distribution. The gas pressure buildup. So again, the if you case of the liquid, I mean, you can easily flow from by putting the pressure, but in case of the gas, it is very difficult. We try to maintain the pressure uh, as well as the temperature and volume. So those three kind of things we have need to maintain. So in that case, uh, we have developed a pressure uh, buildup gas equation. So that can we have uh, described the all process at the delta T or delta P. So how much uh, delta P we will take it corresponding to the delta T. So based on that, we have developed a uh, pressure buildup equation. Then uh, we have also tested somehow the density correlation done with the changing the parameter or running the two models in the different, uh, because the temperature is varying with the respect to the weather uh, in the season. So that's why we have also testing that. And reduction of the drive is, of course, my primary objective of the book. So these kind of uh, data fitting we are looking. So this is one of the sample where we have fit the data by using the input analyzer. And we will get okay the demand of the auto is fitting through the triangular distribution. Similarly, for the demand of the gas, we are fitting into the triangular distribution. And this similar distribution we are fitted as an input into the simulation. Similarly, for the interval of auto and car, we are fitted and they are fit into the exponential distribution and the interval of the cars and the autos. So these are we have tested and fit into the as a model input model. Now we are moving further about the uh, more about the uh, modeling part, simulation modeling. So we have developed this model into the ARENA simulation software, and we have run this model for first 24, eight days, and with the confidence interval of 95%, and we have considered 15 uh, replication right now. So uh, to initiate this process, we required uh, like initial condition of that uh, uh, to develop and run the model. So we have initiated with the particular condition, like we have considered estimatory cascade at the 25 bar to 50 bar and the pressure of the cascade and LCV or SCV at the 40 bars. And there is no, uh, there is one LCV and SCV will be available at the each daughter booster station. And the filling time of LCV, SCV is restricted between 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, and the update all the events of the simulation at the every uh, synchronization of the every five minutes of the interval. So every five minutes we will update it with the all kind of parameters. So these are the parameters. I mean, initially we have taken. So uh, to run the simulation model, we have considered the first case of the Chilora Mother Station, and Chilora Mother Station is associated with the two daughter booster station. One is the Pethapur, another one is the Raipur. So uh, to, to uh, run the simulation model of the first case of the Chilora mother station, so these are the operating conditions. So as we discussed earlier, the every mother station has their own operating condition. This is the complexity we have. Uh, so this is one of the uh, cases we have took here and based on that, we have developed a scenario. We will see further. So uh, in, this is the operating condition. So these are the operating condition of the mother station of Chilora. This is denoted as M1 and Petapur as it. TV and Peta uh, Raipur as a TV2. So if you look the number of dispenser, they have a two dispenser at mother station. There is one dispenser one. So these are the some kind of operating condition. Compressor all have a one compression number of stationary casket. And these are the, the very important kind of things is the filling time of the LCV. So how much time it's filling. So it's it's operating condition uh, uh, the filling time is the 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. And the service time at the particular time, morning 6 o'clock to evening 10 p.m. So this is uniform across the all uh, stations, either it's mother or TV. Similarly, for the LCV movement, we are taking care of 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. And uh, we will discuss more why we are using 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. And because of the, some kind of, you know, the government safety norms, we are not, you know, so that kind of we have also taking care of that in the operating condition. Again, the complexity started with the stenary cascade. 
so cascade somehow the operator or you can say the uh, uh, the uh, user of the that particular stations they have a 40 watts and somehow the 100 watts because why this kind of things happen because the to maintain the compressor the we need the electricity and that kind of you know that increase the financial term we'll discuss in further into the, our scenario how it will be you know the complexity has started now the distance from the mother station is the first from 15 and another one in 30 kg and this is the time to uh, cover dv in the minute so the, we have considered the movement of the vehicles as that uh, i can say that it's like at 60 km per hour uh, and so sorry 30 km per hour so it is the average uh, speed we have considered here based on that uh, this and the finally if you look the last column uh, these are the dedicated lcb so there are two lcb are dedicatedly work for the petapur which is working from mother station uh, chilora to petapur and similarly for lcb 2 or 4 are work for the raipur so these are the four dedicated kind of uh, DB station, uh, sorry, LCV uh, work for this particular associated with mother station. So these are the operating conditions. So now we have developed the scenario and this scenario is developed based on the, uh, we have developed a seven scenario as per the client requirement. So the first scenario is the basic scenario, scenario number one. This is the current scenario you can say and baseline scenario. Now we have the other seven scenario from scenario number two to scenario number eight. We have developed as per the client they have suggested and based on the discussion between the client and the, our uh, team, technical team. So the first scenario has as a scenario number two, you can say uh, uh, the filling time of the LCB of the mother station has increased from 8 a.m. 8 p.m. to 6 p.m. So we will usually two hours in the morning we have increased and we have increased the two hours in the evening. So what would be the impact coming on the drive? So we will look further. Similarly, uh, scenario three is talking about if you consider all LCB, SCB. So early if you look the operating condition of the baseline is the dedicated kind of mother station. But here we have taken the pull kind of strategy. So where the demand is required, we will send them. Similarly, scenario four is we, we will dedicately one LCB SCB is pulled between the two daughter booster stations. So this is the scenario number four. Scenario number five, we have uh, additional one stationary casket we have installed at particular DV station. And scenario six, we have replaced all LCB and SCB. So these LCB and SCB both are the mobile casket. And this is the difference between LCB and SCB is the capacity. So LCB has a 420 kg of the capacity, whereas the SCB is the happy commercial vehicle, and which is, has a capacity of the 600 kg of the vehicle. So these are the differences. We will look uh, how the, you know, the, after changing this, how the result and the you know, impacted. The seventh scenario is the 24 hour movement of the LCB. Uh, usually, it's uh, practically it's not possible because of the government norms. We can't move the all LCB and SCB in the night. So, but still, we will move, move, look and see uh, what kind of impact are coming here. So, these are the beauty we have seen into the simulation, and that why that's why we have scenario seven we have also considered. Now, the scenario eight is install a dummy uh, daughter booster station. So, this scenario will help us to take the futuristic. Uh, or static kind of decision where either this mother station are able to fulfill the other demand or not. So that kind of, uh, that's why we have installing one dummy at uh, daughter booster, which is similar demand, which is at the Petapu. So we look this kind of scenario. So after running the uh, simulation model of the 28 days, uh, and we found the following seven scenario results, right? And the output of the simulation model particularly determined the three values. One is the percentage drive time, and second one is the number of the autos and cars served without the services, and number of the car, uh, uh, number of the car without the services so at the DV stations. So this kind of uh, output we have expected, uh, client has expected from the, our model. So if you look the first scenario, this is the baseline scenario where the dry out time is around. 6%, 5.97, and the number of vehicles, if you look. So these are these all results based on the 28 days of the running the simulation. Number of auto and car, how much auto that's so you on an average, you can say in a month, around 346 cars are not able to take the service. And 
So similarly, we have uh, for the DB for the RIPO, we have calculated. Now uh, we are looking for further over the scenario one. Scenario one is the we have, once we increase the uh, filling time at the particular mother station, then the automatically dry out has drastically decreases because of we have given the four hour maximum, uh, two hours in the morning and two hours in the evening, then dry out has drastically uh, decreases and the number of uh, service level has increases and where the number of auto without service is also very less to look here. So this is a kind of scenario that uh, started. Now we look to the scenario number three where we have pool all LCV and to the as a pool, uh, pool kind of strategy. So in this scenario, uh, again, the dry out has uh, decreased at the DB station one, where as you will look, the dry out has increased at DB two. The reason behind this that uh, I mean, uh, as per uh, the modeling and as per the observation, because of the demand as the DB uh, one is more and distance is less. So whenever we have pulling, so always this priority is goes to the DB one and DB goes priority going to DB two is later. So that's why it, and distance is also more. So that kind of uh, pulling strategy is not fitted for the DB2 as per result. Similarly, if you have, again, one LCB is added and pull between this. So again, it's again increases that, uh, you know, the dry out time after adding one additional resources of the same thing. So this is again, uh, because again, uh, what happened the in the peak hours, the all demand is more. Either if you go to the mother station or DB station one or DB2. So everywhere at the peak cover, the demand is more, right? So again, uh, such kind of uh, situation has started. So that's why the region, the every uh, where the, this again, the dryout has increased. Now we are moving further for the fifth scenario by adding the one stationary casket at the particular DB. So it again, similar kind of things happen. If you look scenario number one and scenario number five, which is the result is almost similar. Because after putting the additional resources as a stationary casket at the DB, there is no uh, such kind of improvement happening to the DB. Uh, because the all it is again, the similar pro problem is like a, uh, at the peak hours, the demand is more and more, more kind of demand at mother as well as the DB. Now we are replacing LCB at the SCB. So we have simply, we will, you can say in another word, we will adding more capacity of the mobile casket. So LCB has a capacity of 420. We will replace with the uh, 420 to 600 kg of the capacity. Then uh, dry out has decreases here. If you look here, uh, whereas the dry out has again uh, decreases. This is uh, again one possibility where we have uh, after just uh, giving one additional uh, resources and then we will get the dry out has decreases approximately 1% into the in a one month in the here and here in the DB2 is again around 1.3% kind of thing they have decreased. Now, uh, this is a 24 hour movement. So if you again, this is the highest uh, minimum percentage dry out is here uh, because of 24 hour movement of LCV constant and they will again, if you look the minimum dry out is there. Now in the last scenario, uh, scenario number eight is the install a dummy daughter booster station and that again, after adding it. So uh, for dummy booster, we have took, uh, so we took the similar demand of the DB beta put. So we will just replicate the same DB as a beta put and the, with the same distance. We will just look how these uh, mother station are able to fulfill the demand of the additional any DB. So let's say company want to open somehow any other DB station or that same mother station are able to fulfill the demand or not. So such kind of scenario we will look by the scenario eight. So here, after putting that, then we will look that uh, the uh, multi. I think double the dry out has increased at uh, beta put, and again the similarly for the dry out has increased at the uh, Raipur station as well. And the, again the dry out at the DB dummy station we are putting here. Their dry out is around four point four six percent. So these are the kind of scenario started. So now we are moving further about the insights which are getting from the. Uh, after every scenario. So, scenario. so we are not discussing about the scenario two or scenario A, uh, sorry, scenario seven, because for these both are, uh, I mean, aware that uh, priority is very less. We are uh, more focusing of the scenario number three, four, five, six, and the eight. 
So uh, now we are discussing what kind of insights we are getting from the scenario uh, three. So scenario three is the pooling of the LCB and SCB among the DV daughter solution. So did the management has implemented such kind of uh, LCB strategy, LCB pooling strategy of all DV station and then LCB sent to the DV station and the booster sensor. So that that again the problem is to what could be the cutting uh, or if it, then the what kind of condition we will put for the pulling the LCB from the mother station to daughter. So that kind of taking care of, we are putting the if pressure of less than 100 bar of the stationary casket at the DV station, then, then particular that mother station sent to the LCB to the DV station. So this kind of uh, strategy or you can say cut off uh, uh, point we will put into the condition uh, for the pulling. So, uh, this will also ensure the vehicle reach at DV station before the drive. So that kind of uh, update we need to update at the DV station required. Uh, apart from that, some uh, labors kind of. Uh, so after implementing this uh, this strategy, then the that the issue has started for the labor uh, drivers, or you can say they are the reluctant to go from one zone to another zone. So what happened? In the local drivers, they are particularly go from one place to another place. But when we send to the another places, and we have another movement restriction of the vehicles. So what happened? That particular drivers uh, go to the another location, but they are not available to back to the again the our local uh, home. So that kind of things has started when we implement the you know pulling kind of strategy. This scenario would decrease the drivers percentage. But it also depends upon the sales at the mother station and the number of LCB available at the all DV station. Uh, then after adding the pooling of LCB, then, then the extra LCB were added and pool among this. So the approx movement of the such LCB mother station should be updated at sales at each DV and the able to send to LCB to the required DV station. And this scenario will decrease the diode and depends again the how many states of the dedicated LCB have. Now we are moving further for the scenario insights on the five, where we are adding one additional stationary casket at DV station. So this storage capacity will be double, but it will not much impactful as they will decrease for a small amount of the uh, uh, dry out. And uh, again, it's upon depends on where is the sales and where you are putting that DV uh, stationary casket. By replacing the LCB with the SCB, the uh, storage capacity of the mobile casket will be increased from 4 to uh, 20 kg to 620 kg. And pulling gas uh, of the mother station will increase from 30 minutes to 40 minutes. So to ful fulfill the demand, uh, fulfill the filling of the 420 kg of the gas is the, around 30 minutes at the mother station. It's a prox on average kind of filling time we have observed after running this model and the, when we, so this 10 minutes of the filling time has increased and it will be increased during the peak hour also. So peak hour, maybe it will back, I mean, 1.5 hour is going on. And the replacement would be the dryer time, uh, the final reduction of the dryer depends upon the, again, the distance between the mother stations and the, as well as the CNG sales at the particular TV station. After installing the dummy at the daughter booster station, this will help to future expansion of the daughter uh, uh, TV stations and it will depict the mother station output uh, really matches with the required CNG demand at the TV station. So such kind of dummy installation will help, you know, to uh, our client in terms of taking off the supply demand uh, match kind of thing. So this is the dashboard we have developed in the arena, which will, it's kind of visualization. They will update it over every five seconds of interval. So every five seconds of interval, uh, each parameters like number of arrival has updated, number of queues. So these kind of parameters has updated every five seconds of interval. If you look in the down uh, bottom of that diagram, we have given, uh, this is the mother station. It's the uh, uh, one color of the red. And so if you look this particular instances, so where there are four uh, vehicles, one is uh, one LCB, LCB number one is uh, right now in the DB2 that is called dry food. And they are, have a pressure of the 16, 66.83, right? Similarly, LCB2 has right now the pressure of 152.65. 
and this is the LCB number two, which is right now this is located at uh, this is the uh, time interval of the around 7:35 in the evening kind. So this is available in DB2, sorry DB1, and this is the mother station. So if you look here again, we have putting there two uh, you know uh, LCB filling and LCB hold. So this is the kind of queue. So right now we have a cluster of one mother with the two DB. But we have also the cluster of the one mother with the seven db. So in that case, we have a space also required for creating the hold the, that LCB or SCB. And you can say this is the kind of queue has started here. And it depends upon who will come and then how we'll hold it. So that's why there are two spaces here. One is the filling. So this will fill. That will fill again. This depends upon the priority. First, we fill the priority of the, our client, our auto and car, and second one to the uh, uh, I mean, you can say uh, to a stationary cascade and third priority to fulfill the LCM. So this kind of visualization will help to Savarmati to take uh, more kind of, uh, you know, the, they will make more visualize and they will uh, update it with the all kind of thing uh, after running this uh, simulation. Now we are moving further uh, what the practical implementation kind of things. So by installing the stationary uh, casket at TV stations, uh, the storage capacity were double, but the tryout was almost similar because of the peak hour demand. So such kind of observation they have observed after implementing this kind of uh, uh, scenario. And they analyze and measure the percentage tryout and uh, time and each TV station and provided the key recommendation for managing the uh, particularly like uh, uh, dry out time at TV station at peak hour, how we will uh, send to the, uh, I mean, vehicles, particularly LCB and HCB. So that kind of, uh, you can say, operational or tactical kind of decision are, they will help to taking care of this second. Uh, and uh, yes, we will get- faster, a little faster. Yes, yes, uh, yes. just, uh, mm. yeah. Mm. So implementing this model, uh, estimated saving about the 1.3 million uh, per year of the SCL they have, uh, they have given out. Now we are moving further quickly to the conclusion side. So of course, this is one kind of model and this similar kind of model we can adapt for the like other state of the India also. And model will determine the, again, the optimal shipment quantity of the CNG and the number of the vehicles between the stations, how many vehicles we have required either in dedicated form or either in the pooling form. So such kind of a strategy, this model will help and simulation model analyze the transportation resource allocation scenario like a state, uh, we have discussed already strategic and operational kind of decision and simulation model will again help to take the decision of the future expansion of the daughter group space so this kind of uh, conclusion in terms of the future this is a expansion kind of thing so this methodology again uh, you know the gas is coming as a continuous process where if you look the uh, we will uh, serve the car and auto is again biscuit kind of thing. So we 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 can develop one kind of methodology where we can analyze the similar kind of process, how we will uh, fuse together, like uh, create the framework where the continuous process of the gas uh, with the integration with the discrete arrival of the auto and car. So we'll, uh, this is the future kind of thing we are started to develop. And particularly, we will also look at the development of the integration of optimization and simulation model where the optimization will help to take in the short term kind of, uh, of uh, decision and the simulation will help to take the long term attack type of the decision. Now this is the uh, uh, chronological order of the our events where you can see the this is the uh, where we have followed. So this project has started uh, I mean in July 2026. So Savarmati Gas Limited has approaches to IMA to, for, to develop a model for particularly they are struggling for the dry out time. They increase the service level or customer service level, uh, particularly for the booster station. So that's why we have a scope is particularly like only mother and daughter booster station. Now the, in the August 2020, uh, 2016, IM team has visited with the STL uh, and then this visit has become number twice. And then another visit has happened. Then if you look November, they will get signed and some kind of uh, contract has started between them. And IMT, uh, third visit has again there and there will more clarity about the problem kind of thing. Then January 2017, the first presentation has started with the CEO and the SGL team for the modeling finding. And the second presentation again going for the technical team with the SGL where they are uh, further reduce the drive time and they will develop, but they will still 
not satisfied, they will tell us again with uh, how can you reduce the dioxide. So that kind of uh, feedback we will get from the our Sabarmati Gas Limited, uh, particularly from the technical team when we discuss it. Then April 27, the third presentation of the technical team. Then similarly, we will move further uh, to the game. I think uh, this is the fourth presentation. I think yes. this is about uh, July, right? Oh, yeah. We asked some with the typo error is there. And then May and then That's November, right. they have decided. And that way, the finally okay. 2019, they will approve. And this is the final way in all activity. So thank you. Thank you so much. And I really, I would like to sincerely thanks to ORC and our chapters. And they will give the effort and particularly in forms for providing such a wonderful platform to share such kind of you know practical work where the company has right now implemented. So thank you, thank you so much, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, I think uh, uh, Beth can open this for unmute everybody and direct questions can be taken. I think Dada Sengupta has written three or four questions and we have answered them. <coughs> I've answered them some of them because I knew the study. But then I think it's open for anybody can ask questions now, I think, uh, including Dr. Sengupta. Some more questions. But dry out is measured at the point. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yes, sir. Uh, so, sir, in that case, we have not measured dry out at all stations uh, because uh, we have measured dry out at particularly only in the DB station, daughter Foster station. We have not uh, measuring the dry out at the mother station right now. And who measured it? Uh, uh, so uh, earlier, it's like, uh, I mean, the whatever the people are staying there, like operator, they will tell us, okay, 50 vehicles are going and we will not. But the model will suggest more about and the model will measure. So uh, before model, uh, such kind of measurement are happen like a very uh, manual kind of things where they will daily basis, they will fill the one Excel where they will tell us, okay, how many we are not able to fulfill, particularly into the peak hour kind of thing. So that kind of things happen uh, when they have measured before the implementation of this model. Any other questions? Dr. Sengupta, if you have something more. No, no, nothing. Thank you. I, I think okay. I have now got it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah, so, okay. so one, well, one comment I have, I guess one yeah, question. Yeah, sure. So, so mm -hmm. Gautam, you talked a little bit about some of the uh, presentations that you are talking to people about and so on. Mm -hmm. and I see mm -hmm. from the attendees list, there are a lot of, um, quite a few folks from India, and I'm guessing mm -hmm. a substantial number uh, who might be students at different colleges. Right, and right, so on. right. So the question right. I have, mm -hmm. so the question I have is, so the question no, I have is, <laughs> so especially for no. the for the viewers, uh, attendees, um, this is not just OR, this is really broader uh, analytics, includes machine learning, statistics, and whatever else you can think of there. And it's not just limited to uh, actual implementations. Uh, we want to go a little bit beyond that as well. Uh, maybe a little bit about uh, if needed, hey, what are the skill sets that companies are looking for in India, for instance, or uh, how are the placement uh, you know, activities set up at different colleges, things along those lines. So if anybody has any comments or suggestions um, on what we should be covering more uh, or, or have some ideas what we can follow up, please do either speak up now or send an email mm -hmm. to uh, Gautam or myself. So to me or to I just, yeah. process that, yeah. If there are no other questions or comments for now, yeah. Uh, let's see, there was there a, okay. Um, hey, um, Ramesh, thank you very much yeah. for an excellent presentation. Really appreciate your taking time to uh, talk to us about it. And I did have a question about the whole, uh, how yeah. did the project get started? And, you know, fortunately yes. you showed me that slide. Uh, which talked about the whole timeline. So thank you again very much for... No, they wrote to us, the company wrote to the director IMA to take up this study. So we did not actually ask for the study. It was actually initiated by them. Yeah. Okay, great. Um, yes. So uh, uh, unless there are any other questions or uh, Gautam, uh, unless you have any other comments, we can um, close no, it I down. think I, I would like to thank everybody for coming here and uh, hearing yeah. for this for last one hour or another. I think... Uh, 
over practice or analytics practice is something more than just evaluating the model or possibly applying data. It is going through the whole practical process. So I think there is a lot of things to be learned from the how US is doing, uh, that they have experience of doing this for 50 plus years. So we look forward to more interaction with this. Uh, thank you. I think nothing much. Yeah. Oh. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Thank you everybody. for your time. Yeah. Thank, you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you.